Hi everyone. It is late in the ATC and I'm about to go down to Ant Village. So, if you will, join me. I'm only a hundred yards away and I have put on my podcasts to entertain myself as if the beautiful view isn't good enough. Oh yeah. Okay, so I quickly took off my shirt and I'm almost to the turnoff. And then I'll start getting on some gravel and then I'll start having an incline, which, uh, ah, this is gonna be great. Okay, bye. Okay, so I'm about a quarter mile into this uh, gravel road, dirt road, and uh, things are still looking pretty. I just actually saw a deer in between me and the road over here. That was kind of interesting. Lately I've been interested in how calm I can be around wildlife and see if they're disturbed by me at all. Thank you very much. Uh, what are these, Dr. Scholl shoes and Dickie's pants for sponsoring this? I think I'm halfway there. Wow, no wonder I've only ridden this on a bike twice maybe three times. I don't want to rob you of any scenery. Yay. Is there anybody behind me? Right, the slope starts now and I believe I'll have like an S-curve and uh, yeah. It's been a lot of fun. Um, it's a nice little trek. I would like to thank the Abundant Edge podcast for keeping me company. And I would like to thank uh, Darren Doherty for uh, his contribution during one interview. And so he talked about how he got started um, in the whole permaculture realm uh, via, well, it was land in his family, his grandfather uh, being the, the land guy. And then he went into hospitality services and uh, he got interested in cooking. And from cooking, he was speaking with tons of chefs or he was, he was in chefs and he was speaking to tons of food suppliers. And then other food suppliers started asking him what other food suppliers were doing. And so he realized that, ooh, consultancy. And uh, I wanted to point this out because that seems like a great way to start getting involved in your local community. If it is, you have communication skills. Uh, and then from there, he just uh, took off in other ways that he's skilled at. Cheers. Um, yeah, uh, continuing. So I'm, I've only got like a half mile until Ant Village. I'm about to enter the property here very soon. It's on my mind. I wanted to share the, what I think is the quote of the interview. One thing led to another. As simple as that is. This is my second time listening to it, by the way. I chose that quote the first time I was listening to it at a desk. Bye. I think I'm right before the gate. There are two sort of steep areas and I'm in the area that has leveled out in between. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, so now I'm past the gate and I'm looking for roads that turn off of this main road. Um, I, I forget what this road is called. Uh, and I made the map, a map of what already existed. Um, I think I'm looking for Pascal Road. I think I found Pascal Road. Pascal? Ask Paul Wheaton what Pascal is. I believe it's a, it's an aunt or a grandmother of his. So who Pascal is? 
Okay, so through, I can't even see, through here is Wafati 10 by 10, uh, incomplete. I think the road should open up around this next turn. Yes, I see it. I see the sign to Ant Village. I see the sign. It's up there. I'll show it to you. I made it. It only took 30 minutes. And after politely um, refusing food, um, I am leaving Ant Village. They had wonderful smelling food. They're, they made a cob oven and they are, um, uh, they are cooking often communally in that cob oven and they're inviting people um, to join them. So there were a few friends out there and there were a few people from base camp out there and that's really neat to me. Um, I talked with quite a few of the ants about um, uh, their homesteading and what it is that they want to do with themselves in the uh, short term and long term. And it's all communal. It's all good. It's all, um, it's all sharing. Sharing and being successful and being successful in a way that uh, that uh, doesn't take advantage of anyone and it's uh, very heartwarming so thanks for coming to ant village with me i've enjoyed my stay and uh, i hope you will take the same trek that i did <laughs>